Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World and welcome to the second instalment in my unreleased Joe Perry project demos series. Quite a long title. Uh, this song is called When Worlds Collide. Now on the CD I have, there's actually two versions of it. The first version is from February 1982, according to the, to the notes I have. Um, recorded at Blue Jay Recording Studios. Now this one actually says it has Brad Whitford on guitar as well, which uh, I didn't know Brad prior to getting this. I didn't know that Brad recorded with the, the Joe Perry project. I mean, I have a few bootlegs where he, he would turn up and sit in with the band. Um, sound, sound great, sound fantastic, those uh, those bootlegs. Um, but I didn't know he'd recorded in the studio with them, so that's the first version. The second version is also recorded at Blue Jay Studios in uh, November 1982. Uh, no Brad on this one, just the, the final lineup of the project, which that's a good version as well. I mean, to be honest, the, the two versions are, are very, very similar. The version with Brad is slightly faster, and there's there's more backing vocals on it, and there's definitely a lot more lead guitar. Um, the second version is slightly slower. So what I did was um, I did a play along. Now I used the second version because uh, the song's quite tricky to play. I mean, it's not Ingvi Malmsteen, you know, incredibly fast. It's tricky to play. But the riff itself takes a bit of practice um, getting it down and it, it goes on for, for quite, a, quite a bit. Um, so I did it, the second version, because it's slightly slower as well. Um, so that's what I've done. So we'll do a playthrough and then I'll come back. Um, again, like the last Joe Perry project demo, there's only, there's only three parts. But again, it's a great tune. So uh, do the playthrough and I'll be back to go over the guitar parts. Okay. <laughs>
quickly go through the three riffs now, like the other Joe Perry project song. I think because the tape has been through so many generations, the, the speed slightly fluctuates between each track, so that they're not on standard pitch. So this is an E chord for this particular tune. So the first riff um, is an open E string, bottom string open. And then the second fret, then third fret, fourth fret of the D string, back to the third fret of the D string, back to the second fret of the D string. But when I'm hearing this, I can hear there's another note in there as well, which I think is the B. I think he's playing the B on the second fret of the, the A string before he goes across to play that second fret of the, the D. So I did that in, in the cover, and if, if you zoom in on my hand, that's, that's how I'm playing it. I mean, it's very tricky to play, to play that. So you'd probably better just watch my cover version of it. Then the next part of the riff, um, is an open A, then the second fret of the A string, then the fourth fret of the A string, fifth fret of the A string, back to the fourth, back to the second. And then back to the first bit again. So the second time he's playing the A riff, he stops on the fifth fret and plays that. That's quite a prominent note that he plays there. So the easy way to play this, if you're missing out that B uh, on the second fret of the A string in the first part of the riff, um, I mean, it sounds like it's in there, but I think you could do this and miss that note out. But, you know, if, if you practice, you can get it in. It's quite difficult just doing it, actually just sitting here doing it alone. So I'll play the easy version. <laughs> So that's the whole verse, it alternates between those two parts. And then there's a bridge part which is uh, starts on the open A string and it's like a pedal tone on the 7th fret um, of the D string down to the 5th fret, down to the 4th fret, down to the 2nd fret, all on the D string and you're hitting the A. And it finishes with a pull off um, on the C note, the 3rd fret of the A string the open A string. song he just plays a E chord an E bar chord up here on the seventh fret and that's it that's the whole tune there's only three riffs in the whole thing so that's that's the three parts of the song it's not it's not the hardest song in the world to play um, part wise there's, there's only three parts as I said fitting that B note in in the main riff is, is really quite tricky it takes takes quite a bit of practice to to do that so there you go that's the second uh, unreleased joe perry project demo um guitar lesson so i hope that was reasonably informative um possibly a bit hurried i've got a million and one things i need to get done today um, but thank you once again for watching for tuning in to dunsey's guitar world cheers for now <laughs>